Hey, it's Drybear. A huge content patch has gone live in the Outlast Trials, which added a brand new trial consisting of several new maps, objectives, and encounters. It also includes a new lobby game to play while you wait for your party members in the form of chess. The new trial is a courtroom where you fairly judge individuals being tried and carry out normal worker duties like carrying severed human heads to an outdoor fountain. Then grab large vats of nitric acid that could easily melt your flesh away, but don't put a lid on it or anything before jogging the canister barefoot across the courtyards. But just in case you've never played or even heard of the Outlast Trials, let's walk through what it's all about and why you should play it. Think of it like a cooperative survival horror game because that's exactly what it is. It's a multiplayer Outlast with all the gore, fear, and discomfort wrapped together. And there are actually many maps to take on as a group of one to four players. In true horror game fashion, you're pretty outmatched by the baddies that want to kill you during the trial. So you're avoiding detection while completing tasks and solving puzzles. There's boss enemies that you really just need to stun, blind, or simply run away from, as well as normal enemies with various abilities. It has consumable items to collect that will cure conditions, heal you or teammates, or revive teammates that take too much damage and become incapacitated. Once all objectives are completed, you must rush back to the entrance in order to leave the trial alive, and when it's all said and done, you get a score based on how well you did as a team and also at individually. There are always several strategies to tackle each trial, from working together as a unit or spreading out to cover more ground. However, there are also loadouts in the game which makes it more interesting. You can bring buffs, perks, and gear with you that do a load of different things. My personal favorite gear item is the smoke mine that gives you time to do localized objectives. Some loadouts can get truly outrageous in their power levels, so in the latest update, Outlast Trials included a newer mechanic where your personal loadout power will be disabled if you take certain routes or enter certain areas. It makes those portions noticeably more tense. Once you've mastered all the maps and trials, you can take on the higher difficulties that have more rogue light elements with random affixes, enemies, and objectives. And the higher difficulties really amp up the fear of running and hiding from enemies or playing decoys so your teammates can get away. So go check it out or don't. I'm not your dad. If you found value in today's video, leave a like down below, leave a comment for the algorithm to help this video get seen by more people. And don't forget to check out my other channels for other content and other stuff and other things.